how are you doing? Kirsten Lee Belt here, and today I wanted to make homemade chocolate pudding. So I don't know if it's you or not, but a lot of people are trying to do keto and maybe they're stalling out or they're having a hard time. And I know that I have personally seen a lot of recipes floating around that are, well, okay, so maybe what people don't know is that you may not be losing weight for a couple of different reasons, but one of them might just be because you're eating a lot of prepackaged foods or a lot of like higher toxic foods. And I know that sounds crazy, but so if you're focusing on protein, which is what this is, this is a high protein chocolate pudding, um, that's fantastic. But if you're making it with like that brand out there that has like, it's sugar free and it has aspartame in it and all that stuff and you're mixing it with all this crap, that can so be hindering weight loss, you guys, and it can also be hindering how you're feeling in your body because your body can't take the toxic overload after a while. It just can't. So like cleansing your liver is really important and all that good stuff. But let's just get right down to it. I wanted to show you quickly. This is a Maria Emmerich recipe. I was going to make it anyway, and I thought I'll jump on live and show you guys how I'm making it. I have to remember you guys are over there. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I wanted to show you quickly the ingredients, this is so fast and easy, it's a little ridiculous. So it's just about changing out one ingredient at a time and then pretty soon you turn around and your pantry is changed out, okay? Okay, so this is Maria Emmerich's chocolate pudding, it's high protein. So the first thing that I'm starting with is one pint of egg whites. Now she probably has a recipe out there that'll tell you how many egg whites if you are breaking them down. Maybe it's gonna be 10, maybe 12, like I'm not positive. But I just do it this way, and I am always looking for the path of least resistance. Like, how, how can I more easily create a process that I can, I can do repetitively over and over again? So this is it for me. I take a pint of Costco egg whites, or Aldi's, or wherever, and I actually put them into, this is like a cake pan that goes into my Instant Pot. So I can do it all at once. So I'm just making an egg white disc. Does that sound crazy? But it works. So you can see how this works. And then what I do is, oh, and I didn't, I don't have the can. I took a can of coconut milk. And actually it's, um, it's, it is, you can see it's solid. It's solid with a little bit of liquid in there when you open up the can and you put it in your blender, it's solid, right? Not you could use unsweetened coconut milk from your refrigerator. It's just not going to be creamy and thick, and you're not going to get the fat. Now, you don't need to get the fat. Fat isn't your answer. Protein is your answer. So if you wanted to lower the fat, you could use an unsweetened almond milk, and I think that you would use 10 ounces, or you can use unsweetened coconut milk. This is a coconut milk out of a can, which makes it, there's a little bit of liquid in there, not much, I don't know if you can see that. So when you do take it out of there, be careful because it can kind of, you know, like squirt up. But anyway, that's what I'm starting with, all right? I'm gonna add to that my disc of egg whites and I literally just scoop them right out. I don't, it, it doesn't matter. You're just wanting to get the protein into your pudding because this is going to, protein actually, it, um, trying to think it does something with your with the ghrelin ghrelin or ghrelin hormone which is your hunger hormone so it suppresses it it tells it to sit down and shut up a little bit so protein can really help your process so that you're not hungry all the time the fat in the coconut milk if you're choosing to do it this way definitely helps to keep you super satiated for a much longer period of time and you guys this just does not this is so much better than anything you could buy you have no idea you just have no idea. It's amazing. All right, so one can of coconut milk, a pint of Costco egg whites already cooked up. You could scramble them in your frying pan. You could make them in your microwave. You could put them in your Instant Pot, okay? You can do whatever you want. Then I'm gonna take a half a cup of Swerve, and this is actually powdered Swerve. You can use regular Swerve if you want to, like it can be granulated, but the powdered this is what I have in my cupboard, and I know for sure it's not going to have any kind of a crystally effect inside, okay? So I'm just gonna put that in there. Then I'm gonna use a quarter cup of cocoa. This is why this is so much better than what you're gonna get at the store. Like, 
then you're not going to get the aspartame. You're not going to get the cornstarch. You're not going to get the tapioca something something. You're not going to get the molto something something. All real food. This makes such a difference in your process of how your body is feeling, your joints, your your body overall, your mental health, and your weight loss. All right. A little bit of salt. You always have to add salt, especially to desserts, because it brings out the, well, it enhances the flavor. So about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to pour that in there. And I put in about a tablespoon of vanilla, just because that's what I want. Sometimes when something calls for a teaspoon, I automatically adjust it to be a tablespoon. Because I like things to be super vanilla-y. That's just me. And what I did then was I actually, here's a tip for you. So one tip when you are continually making Maria Emmerich's egg white chocolate pudding. Take baggies and write the ingredients on the baggie and then you can fill up multiple baggies of the dry ingredients so that you have them sitting in your cupboard. Then you can add them to your egg whites that you have cooked up and to your can of coconut milk. How easy is that? Amazing. So one can of coconut milk, half a cup of swerve, one quarter cup of cocoa, one tablespoon of vanilla, a dash of cinnamon and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Isn't that wonderful? Like that's so easy. I'm just gonna whip this up and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I put it into my Tupperware for my refrigerator. So much better than store-bought, so much better. My husband said it reminds him of chocolate pudding from when he was a little kid. I would have to agree, it's that good. I'm really going to whip it up well to get the egg whites incorporated. So I'm going to give it a second. Okay, one tip. A tip to making anything sweeter than what you're already tasting is to keep liquid stevia in your cupboard. I get mine from Thrive Market. You don't have to get yours from Thrive Market. Um, I just squirt a uh, like a squirt of liquid stevia in the recipe and it will heighten the sweetness. So especially for somebody who is trying to get off of sugars, somebody who's trying to control their carbs, I can go like this. Just a little tiny squirt is all you need. And you just mix that in and voila. See where it's at I think it's good let me see it's getting there so now remember my egg whites just came out of my instant pot I added them to the coconut milk so it's warm I don't think you can see the steam coming off but it's warm put it in the fridge it sets up even further and further so it's going to totally set up without any anything altered to make it do that it's just going to do it so here you go Check that out. So this is a square Pyrex. So that's about how much it made. If I'm putting this into individual servings, I probably get about six servings out of this. I don't know if you can see the size. Let me see if I can show you the top of it. But how easy is that? The flavor is amazing. Just a square. Flavor is really good. Now, if for any reason you're making this and you're like, man, I can smell the egg whites. Yes, you can. But after you refrigerate it, you won't be able to. So there you go. I hope that you're taking notes on the recipe. You can always go back and write that down if you want to. 
If you ever need any help with your sugars, you can go to KirstenLeeBelt.com and you can check out what I've been using for 12 years. My dad had died of type 2 diabetes at 63, so I'm more than happy to help anybody avoid something that is a diet-related disease. This is easier than you think, and if I can do it and I'm Italian, trust me, you can do it too. 100% I know that absolutely everybody can do exactly what I did to avoid type 2. So, all right, have a super, super blessed day, and I will talk to you guys very soon.